Ha ha, yeah, I'm Ray Romano, and I love you. Oh, you think you're so clever, Raymond. I was wondering if you'd like to talk about your... dental plan. FilmFail.com presents... Trailer Trash. Good morning. How are you? They call me Dan Rickmers. Today just happens to be my birthday. <laughs> Yay! And Hollywood has given me the best present of all. <clears throat> you were apathetic when they gave us Ice Age 1. You tolerated it when they gave us Ice Age 2. Now, be slightly pissed off as Fox Entertainment brings us Ice Age 3. This time with dinosaurs. Hi. Time for a science lesson. D-Rick the science prick. Accuracy rules. The dinosaurs were killed off in a giant debacle that even the land before time took into consideration. About 42 million years before the Ice Age. Or quaternary glaciation, which has te technically not yet ended, but has merely reduced in severity to allow life as we know it to exist. Isn't that cool? The Ice Age, where everything was all cold and stuff, lasted for about 2.57 million years. Million years. Which, apparently through the course of the three Ice Age movies, Ray Romano, voiced by Ray Romano, has somehow been able to survive with all his besties. Thank you for considering the following. Is there any hope for my career? No, not really. Welcome to my world. Welcome to my world. Welcome to my world. Though that doesn't seem to be that much of an issue, because a majority of the movie seems to really just be about this cute little squirrel who didn't seem to cost the producers very much in voice credits, did he? No, he didn't. And no, he didn't. Uh. <laughs> that squirrel just wants that nut so bad. <laughs> Oh, I am not tired of watching this over the course of three high production value movies. Whew. And even if I were, there's a twist. You'll never find as long as you live someone who loves you but wait, this is an animated movie, right? Well then I refuse to watch it, unless it's in 3D. Oh, it is in 3D? That's fantastic. You get an Oscar, and you get an Oscar, and you get an Oscar. And I get an Oscar. How ironic is it that this 3D movie ended up being so one-dimensional? Boom, roasted. You see, this clip... ...is a metaphor for the Ice Age series. Visit filmfail.com for more of the hideous. Or subscribe to the podcast filmfail.com on iTunes. I'll see you next week on FilmTale.com's Trailer Trash. Goodbye! Dental Planet.